Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Wednesday, September 17th, 2014. Well, at least I hope you'll be able to view this. I am confident, at least for right now, that the problems with YouTube have been resolved. I, I could not get the video to upload yesterday. I mean, it was uploading, and then it would tell me, Oh, your video is too lo long. It is? It's shorter than normal. What are you talking about? And that happened three times. And then finally it told me that I needed to verify my account. And then I tried to verify it about three times. And finally it took. And then finally I was able to put a video up there. Uh, it just was uh, a nightmare. And then... It, took most of the morning actually to tell you the truth because it's not a instantaneous thing to upload a video to YouTube but anyway um, it's working now I think so we'll find out how things work out today uh, yesterday's announcements um, I looked at them I, I'm not sure that I understand what they were telling me and I don't know if they affected the market or not. If they did, they affected it in a positive way. Today's the big E, though. We have CPI at 8.30, Housing Market Index at 10, along with the Petroleum Status Report, and then the Fed's meeting announcement at 2, and their forecast at 2, and then the Chair Press Conference at 2.30, so all the uh, pontificators will be able to sit up there and go and talk their double speak about the economy and about their monetary policy. Tomorrow is a big day too. Um, and then is there anything more? No, nothing more on the bottom. Okay, uh, let's take a look at what's going on across the ponds and in Asia, mostly bullish with one exception and in Europe we're bullish across the board so I would expect today to be bullish here in the US okay uh, and actually here the futures we're looking at a uh, flat opening at this time and gold is up a whopping 50 cents overnight while silver is down 76 or point a 7.6 cents <laughs> I'm not used to seeing that number like that that's a pretty small number uh, natural gas is practically free it's not much to play with on those futures <laughs> And the dollar's at 84. I have no idea what that means. I'm not a currency kind of person. All right, so yesterday we jumped in on NDX. We'll cover that as we go through the A plus list. And I keep putting the A and the plus up here, and the plus keeps disappearing. It's just, uh, I think that. Uh, uh, they're changing the functionality of the Thinkorswim platform and <laughs> not telling anybody about it. But I wanted to also say, considering all the announcements that uh, are the Fed announcements this afternoon, if they're going to be tweaking with whatever they're doing, I'm not sure exactly how the market's going to respond. I may seriously, if we get another 10 bucks out of these today, I may seriously consider getting out because that would be at 50% profit and I'm happy with that or approximately 50% profit okay let's jump over to Z charts okay this actually is NDX right here uh, this is a $10 spread so it's at um, we can go back here and look at it 39.60 and 39.50 are my two strike prices on that. On the analyze tab, it looks a lot like this. Oops. <clears throat> that looks better. 
So we're almost at 50%. In our $10 spread, we have uh, 480 and 2520. So, why did you do that, oh great guru? Well, um, I wanted to get at the time. And we can take a look here. At the time, I'll go to the trade tab and we get a little bit bigger view here. Um, at the time, I wanted to, I wanted to, to get a certain price point away from the current price. And at that, well, let's see, I don't want to look at this. Let's go look at Jeff 2. That's what we're used to looking at. I wanted a delta. I was looking for a certain price point, and it would have been at 39.70 or 39.80 or even higher. It was 39.90, that's right, uh, for my 20, around 20 delta. And that was just way too close to the current price for me. So I decided to pick a price point, and then if I didn't get the credit that I wanted, I would increase my spread between the short and the long, which is what I did. So rather than $5, I picked uh, 39.60, and oops, I don't want to do that. And this 39.50. So these are the two that I picked. And I was looking at who was buying what over here in the uh, volume. And there was nothing going on in 39.55. So I don't know if that makes any sense or not. But I decided on the $10 spread. And I was pretty confident in the trade too. So that helps as well. So, um... With just one uh, lot on this per account for three for total, but for just just for one lot um, with the possibility of making one hundred and sixty dollars, my commissions to get in was only two dollars and fifty cents because I had that buck and a quarter per contract, and I was confident about it like I mentioned before. All right, so let's go through our list. We had uh, kind of a bunch yesterday that ran away from me, and I decided not to get in on them. Besides that, I only looked in the morning and was not available in the afternoon, so I only made the one trade in the morning. This one was around 10.15 or so. Alright, starting off with Apple. Alrighty, here we go. Alright, we have a target set for Apple right here. And we're hoping it comes down and snags it. Not sure, you know, timing on this. It's uh, Wednesday today. If we can get it down here today and then hook tomorrow. We can still get in for this week's expiration. Doesn't always work out in our favor, though. All right. Um, Amazon, we're not sure of the direction here. We're still trying to figure that out, so we'll be patient on that. Boeing, let's see how that particular one was working out. We're looking here for a bear call. So we're actually in a setup mode today on Boeing. So let me make a note of that. And I probably shouldn't use the term setup. I should use 20 delta because um, we are in that territory. So if we slide this over, oops, twitching the old finger. Slide this over to here, and it says, yeah, we're in a setup mode here, because we're about 50%. So if we get a continuation of its downtrend or down move here, today or tomorrow, boom. You might want to get in on that with a 20 delta. All right, Baidu. Ah, we have a 
I took a pass on this yesterday, I think because of the 20 bending down here, but long term we're still on a nice slick looking uptrend uh, on the weekly. That's a weird logo, isn't it? I don't think I ever saw their logo before. I decided to throw the logo on here to see if it would disturb me or not. This one kind of disturbs me because it just looks kind of weird. Anyway, um, we have a violation here. That's why. Just had to look at it a little bit. Yeah, that would be a reason to stay out of a 50 delta, but might be a reason to seriously consider a 20 delta on this. So I'm going to put them down for 20. And I'll put the indicator in there in a second as soon as I finish writing this. And here we go. I'll we'll change that to a 20. And the reason why, again, is because of this little hiccup. But I like the momentum. So that's good. Okay, Chip Chipotle was... No, it was Costco that was on our list yesterday. Chipotle, we're looking for a bear call up here. Let's move down to Costco. No use wasting any more time on that. Costco, um, I'm going to put throw an alert on this. This is alertable now. This was on our uh, setup list for our 50. And it came through for us, uh, not in the morning, but later on in the day. It must have flipped up because it wasn't when I looked at it in the morning. This would have been an afternoon trade anyway, and I wasn't here. So it definitely held it. We like it when it holds it, and when it's nice and steep like that. So I'm sure we still got time on this. So above yesterday's high, just a barely, we'll throw an alert. And there we go. Okay. All right, let's peek at the Dow. I had a good day yesterday. From a pure number perspective, it was up over 100. Of course, uh, all the stuff on the radio and TV... Uh, I was like, whoa, the Dow's up 120 today. Whoa, ba doop, ba doop. So, anyway, um, it had a good day. And it actually looks like it kind of tapped out a new high here. DJX did anyway. Didn't hold it, but put one out there. Gold is still um, kind of a crazy mixture of crazy things, I guess you might say. Okay, Google. Uh, we are looking for a bear call on Google, so we're going to wait a little bit longer for that. LinkedIn was also out there yesterday for a setup. Oh, my goodness. All right, here we are with LinkedIn. Uh, actually, that's alertable as well. So we're going to throw an alert in here. It was on our list yesterday. Um, and it looks like it probably would have hooked later in the afternoon. Maybe around lunchtime or later. So now we have a setup condition. Oh, that's the other thing. Oh, hang on a second here. Yeah, uh... I did send Thinkorswim a email yesterday about drawings reappearing. And you know what they told me? They told me, well, are you using a grid? And I go, yeah, I'm using a grid. This is a grid. You know, I have three charts up in the grid. And they said, well, after you delete the drawings, you have to save the grid. I went, Seriously? Are you kidding me? So if I delete one drawing, I have to go through the process of saving this grid or remember to save it. 
this is stupid. I've never had to do that before. So I'm still going to be in conversation with them because, look here, I saved this grid after I deleted these drawings. And here they are again. That's crazy, man. So anyway, um, LinkedIn has an alert on. Here's NDX. I'm not going to bother going to NDX. Uh, we have a 20 Delta here on Netflix. We didn't get confirmation down here. Uh, boy, it really started down bad yesterday, didn't it? But it's still going to go on our list for today. And most of our 20 Deltas at this point are going to have an expiration of next week. Okay. Price line. We're looking to do a bear call. So we're still waiting on that. Uh, Rut, you will see, probably had a nice day yesterday. I didn't really look at it. It wasn't really a beautiful day, but, you know, I'm looking up here right now. Or a 20 delta. So I'll make it yellow. Or maybe we should call it gold. Okay, SPX. Also, am looking for a. Remember this? <laughs> that came back from a long time ago. Uh, that This is part of a. Um, It's a Fibonacci retracement. <laughs> yeah, that came from the past. That hasn't been there for a while. So I'll remove that and we'll see it come back later. But anyway, uh, we I'm not sure about this right now, SPX. Um, so I'm not going to say anything about it. I do have the target here and if it gives me a hook down, um, I may consider an entry but for right now not in a big hurry on it and last but not least is visa provided the chart comes up okay that's great uh, visa yeah. we're going to see if it's going to break through this top here I'm going to just throw a for fun alert on this and um, this is not a trade alert this is just is Visa going to break through here? It did on the weeklies and then pulled back down. But if it if we do get an alert, I may consider uh, going short. <laughs> anyway, um, should be a fun day. I'm going to move this up just a tad more. Should be uh, a fun day today. We have a nice a nice spread a nice amount of candidates for today. And we'll watch the Fed this afternoon, the fireworks from the Fed. All right, that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. And most of all, happy trading.